The fourth key teaching point for forwards that we're going to show on the ice today uh, is what we call neutral zone 1-2. Uh, we're going to show the second variation. There's actually three variations to this drill. Uh, that, uh, that I'll, I'll demonstrate that here. Uh, the key teaching point is, uh, is to support when support is needed. In this drill, most of the time in this drill, the, the support is needed on the middle drive to the inside strong side post. Okay, we're going to try and isolate the strong side defenseman within a game. Okay, and we're going to support on that strong side to try to create a two-on-one uh, with that strong side defenseman. The drill is going to start, you're going to walk through. The second guy is actually going to come out underneath. The first guy, again, habit-wise, his feet, he's going to pivot, he's always going to face the puck, and his feet are going to go north. Puck's going to go skating, puck's going to go back to the second guy, he's going to disperse it. Middle drive with a purpose, strong side post shot, rebound, stop at the net. Okay, this is neutral zone two. The support in this drill is by the middle guy. You have to emphasize that middle drive with a purpose. Middle drive with a purpose in a game, it may, you're creating a two-on-one with this defenseman. Emphasize for the stop at the net. Okay, real, real good habit drill. Good shot from the outside, excellent opportunity to have your players work on shooting for rebounds also. Okay, we're gonna do it full speed. Move it, toes, middle drive, shot, rebound. One more time. Pivot, open up, middle drive, shot, rebound. Okay, now I'm gonna show you uh, neutral zone one. So this is how we do neutral zone one. Usually in this drill, usually in this drill we rotate one side and then the other, one side and then the other, and we actually have four neutral zone dots going at the same time. Neutral zone one starts like this. Buck goes, goes across, he steps in the middle, he opens up, you're done. You're done. He goes down for a shot. That's neutral zone one. That's neutral zone one. I've already showed you neutral zone two. This third part is neutral zone three. What's gonna happen in neutral zone three? The puck's gonna go from here to that player. That player back to the support guy. Kick it to the outside, middle drive. Deep delay, third guy high. Ball to the net for the rebound. Okay, let's do that again. Neutral zone, one, two, three. Okay, let's walk through them in, uh, in, uh, in sync here. Neutral zone, one. Outside, step to the middle, toes, stick. Shot from the outside. Neutral zone, two. Puck over, puck back. Puck to the outside, middle drive with a purpose. Rebound, good. Neutral zone, three. Pass. Pass back, deep delay, secondary seam, shot, rebound. Okay, the key teaching points in this, you have to know where support is needed. In a game when that puck's kicked to the outside, and this guy's coming the outside and that middle guy's coming, if this guy has to make a chip play, you have to be in position to support with that middle drive. Okay, I talked about that on the diagram. The middle drive has to have responsibility to create that two on one, or to support the puck carrier when needed. So that's the read and the key teaching point in this drill.